guys, Perdi here and in this video we're going to create uh, a CV in Figma. Now this opens up a debate uh, as to is Figma a ideal software in order to create a CV? And my short answer is uh, no. I would uh, recommend maybe a software like InDesign and if you really want to create uh, a CV fast uh, uh, by leveraging some templates and uh, not really focusing uh, on all of the details uh, I would also rec potentially recommend Canva. However, you can definitely create a, a resume or a CV in Figma. And in this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how you can do it in a short period of time. So let's jump right into Figma and let's get started. So we're back in Figma and uh, the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to select the frame tool and uh, we're going to select uh, paper. And uh, in this case, uh, I'm going to go with A4 since uh, I'm uh, looking to create a CV in Europe. However, you can also consider doing uh, in a letter format uh, if uh, you prefer a US uh, uh, type. Now let's uh, go over here and let's uh, double click and rename this to CV. And uh, we're going to use the rectangle tool in order to create uh, a top section, which is uh, going to serve us uh, as a divider. We're going to see how that uh, is going to look like in just a moment. But for the time being, let's just uh, create this uh, neutral gray. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, almost blending within the background. So I'm going to select the frame here. I'm going to add uh, a drop shadow just to make the distinction more clear. I'm just going to turn on the blur quite a bit. And I'm going to reduce the transparency so that we have this uh, nice effect. Maybe a 12% could work pretty well. I'm also, also going to just uh, increase the radius. Really don't, not needed, but just something that uh, I'd like uh, uh, to add within the design at this very stage. Then we're, we're going to export it without the radius. Now let's uh, go ahead and uh, we are going to add a circle or actually an ellipse. And uh, this is going to contain the main profile picture of uh, our um, of us, I would assume, in the CV. So let's center it and uh, I'm uh, simply going to change the color to a placeholder for the time being. And now we're going to start adding the actual text that it is going to um, have uh, in the CV. Now before we do that, uh, we're also going to add a layout grid simply because it's going to help us to have a structure within this CV. And I'm going to go with uh, columns. I could also go with grids. Uh, this is an excellent uh, opportunity to try our uh, grids, but uh, maybe for the time being, we're going to simply use uh, columns simply because I'm, uh, I prefer going this route. And uh, we're going to make 12 columns. We're also going to add some margins so that we can have some more um, flexibility around uh, the uh, side and we can make the content breathe a little bit. Now as you can see there is quite a bit of gutter and I want to reduce that uh, in order to make the design more flexible and uh, we're also going to change the color of this grid so that uh, it's not uh, uh, too much uh, uh, visible as we're designing. I don't want it to be too prominent. So here we have our grid. Now let's start adding some text. So let me write a name. And as you can see, I still have the styles from the previous design tutorial. So I'm going to go over here and let's write Helvetica. And I'm going to go with Helvetica Newe. And we're going to center this in line. Let's make the text centered. And uh, we're going to maybe turn it to 16. And uh, let's write here senior designer, senior UI UX designer. And uh, let's uh, decrease uh, the font size of this uh, element so that uh, we don't have uh, the major emphasis on that. And uh, let's make this uh, medium in the font size. So 
At this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a line, which is going to serve us as, as the divider between the top section of this CV and the bottom one. And I'm already seeing that I want this rectangle, this top rectangle to be a little bit smaller. So I'm simply going to readjust this and uh, I'm going to make uh, the stroke uh, transparency way lower than it is at the moment. And now let's start uh, duplicating uh, this text right here. And we're going to start adding some uh, um, sections, which I'm simply going to copy the, um, the text from another uh, CV, which uh, I recently found uh, on Canva, which is uh, the main inspiration for for this uh, design, really. So let's go over here and uh, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, and then this one a bit smaller in size. So let's decrease uh, the font size because we're going to need uh, uh, quite a bit of text, and uh, I'm already going to structure the main content areas, which are going to span uh, pretty much around here. So let's uh, select this text, let's paste it in, and I'm going to bring it here below. And let's consider having a regular and also a little bit of uh, line height in between so that this uh, design can uh, breathe uh, a little bit. We're also going to duplicate this line and I'm going to basically have it over here serve us as a divider. Let's bring it all the way down. And I'm probably going to just decrease the size here just a little bit. I'm going to have just a little bit of less text right here. And uh, you can see how this is already starting to take uh, uh, shape. And uh, now I'm going to start adding some more text elements. This is going to be, this is actually from a Italian um, <laughs> resume that I'm taking the content from. Of course, you're going to add it in the language that is going to serve you the best when it comes to finding and sending the applications. Um, but anyways, here we're just keeping it uh, pretty general. So just general introduction, uh, particular skills, uh, references, and this is not my CV, by the way, just in case you're wondering, uh, um, I already created an entire course on uh, how to create uh, a CV where I'm going in depth when it comes to the content, while how you can create uh, a um, CV which is going to give you an edge in the marketplace and all of those good stuff. So if you're interested in learning the actual uh, nuances of how you can create a, a CV which is going to land the jobs or at the freelance projects which you're looking to get, uh, feel free to check it out. It's on YouTube for free and also have a uh, course on uh, Udemy, which uh, goes in depth in that. But uh, that being said, we're simply going to focus on, on the high level uh, for this specific uh, uh, CV design. So here we have it. I'm going to bring this uh, a bit down and uh, I'm also going to just resize this just a little bit. And actually, let's keep this um, just general so that <laughs> you won't think that it's actually me. And uh, now let's find uh, a, um, a, a profile picture, which we're going to leverage uh, content rule for that. So let's go under image and uh, mail. Mm. And uh, let's uh, select one of these. Oh, this one looks pretty interesting. I think it looks good in the composition. So one thing that you have to keep in mind when it comes to the profile pictures is that you shouldn't, <clears throat> you shouldn't only, excuse me, uh, look good uh, um, as a, a whole, meaning the image itself, 
but it should look good in the composition. So for example, in this CV, we have a, a very light composition. So I think that a lighter image could look good. And we're also going to turn this uh, CV in a dark UI. So you can see um, basically how this could, could work well within uh, different, uh, uh, different scenarios. So for example, this image, I think it looks really cool with this background. Maybe let's try and uh, changing it up a little bit so it's lighter. And as you can see, some, something like this uh, works uh, uh, really well altogether. And uh, in this case, I'm going to change things up and I'm going to create uh, a dark UI for this uh, specific example. Let's make uh, all of this white. Same for this one right here. And uh, now let's uh, go ahead uh, and let's create uh, a darker version of uh, on this CV. So I want the contrast uh, to really be there. And uh, hence why I'm uh, playing around quite a bit with uh, this uh, different uh, variation. All right, let's make this uh, maybe 20% or 15% and uh, here we have uh, both uh, our CVs done. So really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, I'll see you in the very next one.